If you love baseball and want to help a good cause at the same time, you'll want to catch the Mudcats on Sunday, July 18th. That's the date for the Pink in the Park game. Emmeline Madsen from the Rex, Carey, Rex Cancer Center is here to tell us all about Pink in the Park. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. So what is Pink in the Park? Pink in the Park is a relationship that Rex Hospital has had with the Mudcats, the minor league baseball team mm -hmm. that plays in Zebulon, where the players really get into the cause of making breast cancer awareness a part of the community. Okay. And on that day, the players all wear a pink jersey. And I think you have an example have of one. one of those. Isn't this beautiful? So it's not uncommon to a lot of other athletic events where that day is focused on a particular event. Mm -hmm. But even better, not only is it focused, but there's a visual representation. You don't expect to see pink baseball players out mm -hmm. on the field all the time, <laughs> but they are out there. They get them dirty, they get them grungy. Um, they wear them just like they would any other jersey and they have a great day. Um, and it's a chance for families to come out and say, you know, this is for a wonderful cause. It's a chance to potentially start a conversation with someone mm -hmm. who might be saying, you know, why are they wearing pink? It's a great chance to teach children, teach each other, and just remember how important early detection is of breast cancer. So the players will autograph the jerseys and then the people attending the game have a chance to bid on them? Absolutely. So that's the other exciting thing. After they wear them and have a chance to, to really make it um, pink and completely in the park, they sign those and people have an option at a silent auction just out in the um, grandstand mm -hmm. to bid on their favorite player's shirt and they get to take it home. So, and then as a result of that auction, all the proceeds go to the Rex Healthcare Foundation Angel Fund. Okay, so what does the Angel Fund do? Who is it helping? Sure. Well, the Rex Healthcare Foundation is the foundation that supports any activities and programs that we do at Rex Hospital. Mm -hmm. And the Angel Fund is a wonderful program that actually provides support to cancer patients and their families who don't have resources otherwise for rent, paying the light bill, the electric bill important in the summer is it hot, mm -hmm. as hot as it can be. And just because of their treatment and because they didn't expect cancer to be a part of their life, they need some financial assistance. So the Angel Fund truly has that um, helper and mm -hmm. being an angel to those families that need that assistance. Well, despite all the research and awareness, the numbers are still pretty staggering, aren't they, for cancer? Right. You know, one of the things we're really excited about with a lot of cancers is that our incidence is going up, which we're not excited about. Mm -hmm. um, but even though our incidence or how frequently we diagnose someone is going up, our mortality or how frequently people are dying from cancer is going down. Mm -hmm. And that really speaks to early detection because we're finding more cancers than we may have before and we're finding cancers early, which is really important with breast cancer and that's one of the things with Pink in the Park, that awareness that this and many other events have created in the community has made such a difference. And like you said, maybe someone will get a conversation started as a result of That's what we can hope. All right, well, Emmeline, thank you so much for talking with us. Let's tell everyone again that game is Sunday, July 18th, Correct. 2 p.m. The funds go to the Rex Healthcare Foundation. So make sure you check out Pink in the Park. We'll, we'll of course, have more information on our website, mycarolinatoday.com.